investments in infrastructure and the interest today being shown by investors in our uh, boot coining mining sector are testimony to this. Citing the Ethiopian Mines Ministry, local media said that the three companies operating the idle mines have been issued warnings. Ethiopian Mines Minister Takele Omer was reported by the news agency as saying that the licenses will not be opened up to international tender. The ministry was quoted as saying, following a reinvestigation, 27 mining companies that had been licensed to operate in the mining sector but failed to enter operation have had their licenses revoked and three miners have been immediately warned to correct their mistakes. The move brings the number of cancelled mining licenses in the country to 90, including 63 licenses that have revoked in December 2020. Ethiopia and Metal Resources Ethiopia is looking to develop its mineral and metal resources as it considers mining a key sector in supporting economic reform. Last year, Report emerged that Ethiopia cancelled the mining licenses of 63 companies as a result of their breach of contract. In addition to breach contract rules, the mining companies failed to renew their licenses or not made royalty payments, state-affiliated broadcaster Fana reported citing Umma. In 2019, Auto Strategies subsidiary Auto Resources secured a three-year exploration license for the Zega Copper gold prospect in Ethiopia. Zaga deposits are located in the Tigray National Regional State of Northern Ethiopia. It is nearly 175 kilometers northwest of the Tigray state capital of Mekele and 610 kilometers north of Ethiopia's capital city, Addis Ababa.